Hi everyone, welcome back to Roll the Credits. My name is Hannah and this is a channel for everyone who is interested in film, TV and pop culture because that's what we're discussing right here on Roll the Credits. The Oscars is eight days away and I am so excited. I still have about five or six films left to watch but next Saturday my video is going to be all about my Oscar predictions so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that video. Today I'm going to review a film called Rendell which is a superhero film from Finland and I'm going to talk to you all about it. So this film was kindly gifted to me by the people over at 4 Digital Media. As a Swede, Finland is very close to Sweden and the only Finnish like things I know I can count to maybe four in Finnish and I can say thank you. That's about all the Finnish words I know. The only like Finnish film or TV I've ever been like exposed to is the Moomins. Everyone knows the Moomins, but I think people in Sweden just find that the Moomins are a little bit closer to heart than any other country because they do have that adorable little Finnish Swedish. But the complete opposite of Moomins, we have the gory avenging superhero film called Rendell. Directed by Jesse Haya. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Rendell follows the avenging mass superhero as he tries to stop Vala, a medical corporation who's launched an untested vaccine to the world. And through flashbacks, we find out just how bad these Vala guys actually are. They literally will threaten and kill any opposition just so that they can get this vaccine out there. That is how the avenging superhero called Rendell is born. After Vala tries to kill Rendell and stop him on their own, they realize he is too strong for them and hire a group of mercenaries who are assigned from across the world to fly into Finland and kill Rendell and stop him because he is the only one avenging these Vala dudes without any actual other people in the world knowing what it's That is pretty much the gist of the story. There is a lot of gore, there's a lot of blood, there is a lot of violence. So if that is something that you enjoy when it comes to cinema, then I 100% recommend watching Randall. It is pretty fantastically done. Considering it doesn't have a huge CGI budget of, of the other superhero films from America, this is actually really, really well made. It does have a kind of Dark Knight esque vibe to it and I feel that Rendell is kind of a mix between Bane and the Dark Knight so Batman like if you look at the poster of Rendell it genuinely feels like a Dark Knight poster but also he's not the typical hero that we're looking for in superheroes he's very dark and he's very violent and he doesn't really seem to care for anything. Whereas in usually most superhero films, we have a love interest or a family member or something keeping the superhero grounded. But in Rendell, we don't really have that. We more have like, you have to live through the flashbacks and see what he is avenging and who is he avenging. Even though it's such a dark film, like it's not, not only is it pretty much just shot in the dark, but it's just like a very dark mood to the film. There are a couple of characters who genuinely bring out the humor in it. So I think that is, I, as I said in the beginning, I haven't watched a lot of fi like Finnish films, but I do feel that that is maybe a little bit of a Finnish thing to like, even though in like the darkest of times, there's still humor in it. So there is a little scene where, so the Vala guys have been beating up this guy and they tell two of their I'm guessing hitmen or they're gonna like they just work for the Vala dudes. They're like take care of him and there's a quite a funny scene because they don't realize what they mean by take care of him and they literally take him to the hospital instead of killing him which is like the point of take care of him. I thought that was hilarious that was like one of the best bits in the entire film because it's just like the way that these two guys who just are appear to be really really stupid and in the whole context of the film they just really don't fit in but they just add that additional bit of like a depth into the film and adding a little bit of humor and humanity into it i think overall being a presumably low budget film compared to other superhero films like the whole Mar marvel universe as well as like dc and all of the hollywood blockbusters it does really really well using as little cgi as possible it takes the darkness from the character and from the story as well as the moody 
uh, towns of Finland and just really really gets a brilliant look so it pretty much looks like it could be a part of the Dark Knight trilogy but it doesn't use as much CGI and special effects that a higher budget film would be able to produce. And I also find that the costume or like Rendell's look is so good because he's just covered completely in his face and he doesn't speak a single word, which is quite incredible. For a main character, he doesn't actually say anything. It's just like, it's such a stunning piece of costume and like his mask. Going on from that, because it's not a high budget CGI full film, they kind of have to get the, the bad guys. They're not intelligently threatening. They're only threatening by the fact that they will kill anyone who's in their way. And I feel that that is like, that doesn't give any depth to the actual characters because they're just killing because people are saying that they're stupid. They're just killing people for the sake of killing them and there's no intellectual threat from them. It's just like they got this vaccine, they're putting it out there, but there's no actual, you don't really feel that there could possibly win against Rendell. You always have that feeling that Rendell will come and smash their faces in. So I don't really feel that there was any actual depth to most of the characters that we saw. But as an origin story, because I do assume that this is an origin story, I have seen a little bit on social media about Rendell too. So as an origin story, it was quite good because it does leave the audience wanting more. You want to find out more about what's gonna happen. How does the vaccine affect the rest of the world? Is it just the thing in Finland? But in general, I just thought that it was a little bit too dark for my taste. It was a little bit too, too low budget, even though I love low budget films. I think for a superhero film in general, you just you just want it to be a little bit more, a little bit more CGI, a little bit more special effects, a little bit more money put into it. But that's just a personal preference for me. For being a finished film, I thought it was really, really good. Being a Swede, most of our films are really low budget and so is like most of Scandinavian films, most of European films in general, except for the ones obviously coming from the UK. So you often find that they are really low budget and they feel really low budget. For my first ever finished film, I'm quite impressed by it. So yeah, that is my film review for Rendell, directed by Jesse Haya. I think that's how you pronounce his name. So Rendell is released on the 25th of February and it will be available on Amazon. There is a link in the description. Definitely go check it out. There it is available both in Finnish and with English dubs. I watched it completely in Finnish and I thought it was quite good. Subtitles are great, I love subtitles, so definitely check it out in Finnish. So yeah, that was my complete review of Rendell. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and also check out the Amazon link for Rendell. If you do end up watching the film, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it and I will see you again with a new video next week, which as I said in the beginning, will be all about my Oscar predictions, so make sure you subscribe to not miss out on that video. I will see you again next time, and until then, I know, roll the credits. <laughs>